The Virtual Student Exchange Program uh, supports the legacy of Dr. Norman Borlaug. Uh, Dr. Borlaug was an incredible scientist, uh, really dedicated human being, uh, dedicated to helping others uh, through science. At the Norman Borlaug Institute for International Agriculture and Development, of course, we honor his legacy very much, and several of us knew him personally. Uh, Dr. Borlaug's legacy, when you think about it, what is that? Well, it's composed of seven principles. Uh, principle number one uh, that he believed in very strongly is to prevent conflict uh, by addressing poverty and hunger. And what he believed in is that uh, hunger uh, is such a basic need that uh, it spurs people into doing whatever they need to do in order to feed themselves and their families. Um, Peace cannot be built on empty stomachs or on human misery, is one of the things Dr. Borlaug said uh, and believed in very strongly. Uh, second element of his legacy is to use agricultural science, or science in general, uh, really to address poverty and hunger. Uh, science provides us with tools that are uh, really the most effective in doing whatever we can uh, to improve the livelihoods of others. And so agricultural science, of course, he was a, a uh, plant breeder by training and agriculture science is what he believed that could be the most helpful uh, for these uh, people in various parts of the world that, that really were suffering from uh, really tremendous hunger and poverty. Number three uh, in his legacy is that he believed very strongly about taking it to the farmer. What he meant by that is that sure we can use agriculture science uh, to help um, uh, agriculture businesses do better and improve the economy of a country and that's great uh, that's necessary as well but we cannot leave the small holder farmer behind so he believes strongly that if we don't do things that specifically uh, impact and and help the individual farmers then we're leaving them behind and we're never going to really uh, improve the the conditions of those people living in, in those countries where really uh, agriculture is so important to their livelihoods. Uh, number four is he talked about uh, really engaging in an interdisciplinary approach. That means not only um, agricultural production tools and so forth, but uh, there's so many elements to uh, improving the livelihoods of others. There's an element of education, there's an element of policy, there's an element of health for sure. Uh, economics, many different aspects. Um, you know, big problems require uh, multiple angles for uh, us to arrive at, at really good solutions, not just one one aspect of, of addressing a problem. So he believed very much in the interdisciplinary approach of including all these different elements as much as possible. Um, element number five is he uh, really believed strongly that. Uh, policies that governments are able to develop and implement are such an important part of, of all of this because you can have the best science uh, with the best solutions, but if the, the country that you're trying to help, the farmers in that country, if the policies are not uh, enabling these farmers to take advantage of these um, advances, then it's not, not going to last, it's not going to go anywhere. So. He, he really, uh, in the last few years of his life, traveled all over the world visiting heads of state to try to convince them about uh, making the right policy changes and decisions uh, to facilitate and create an enabling environment so that these uh, smallholder farmers could take advantage of agriculture science and all of the different things that they were being uh, helped with. Uh, number six, um, very important and very relevant to this um, specific program is uh, promoting youth development. Dr. Borlaug definitely believed that uh, youth is, is our future, of course, and if we uh, don't do whatever we can to engage younger people, the next generation, if you will, of hunger fighters, uh, then whatever we do, it's only going to last our lifetime and it's not going to uh, continue, and it needs to continue. So youth development, uh, an extremely important part of his legacy. And last but not least, something that he used to say all the time, uh, said it to me many times, is act more and talk less. Don't be talking about things, uh, do it. Uh, get things done. Actions speak louder than words. Uh, I'm sure you've heard that. So 
Um, his legacy was, was really impactful. Uh, Dr. Borlaug was very perseverant. Uh, he, he really um, had tremendous determination and single-mindedness in terms of talking to whoever he needed to talk to, persuade whoever he needed to persuade, and uh, uh, develop whatever tools were necessary uh, based on science that could help these smallholder farmers be elevated out of poverty and hunger. And education is an extremely important part of all of this, of course. So um, uh, this is a model, really, a framework, uh, his legacy is, for what we want to accomplish uh, at the Borlaug Institute, what we certainly want to accomplish uh, as part of this program. Um, we've had uh, virtual exchange um, uh, programs with Kazakhstan. We have done uh, programs involving the uh, researchers and students uh, in Taiwan. Uh, many different programs that we have uh, where we have engaged with uh, either students or young scientists in terms of um, helping them uh, be better trained in the latest technologies, and uh, certainly with youth, uh, which has been an, an important part of all of our programs, is to engage at the local level with youth to empower them with information, with knowledge, uh, so that they can be hunger fighters with us. Um, so it is very exciting for us to, to be part of this program, and um, I think Dr. Borla would be very proud.